In this video, we're going to pull atoms apart and put them back together again a few times, just for fun. We'll start with the 92 substances that we saw in the last video, each made from only one kind of atom. That means they're all elements. Can you recognise any names? Can you say any? Now, if we pulled all 92 elements apart into their atoms, we could put them back together in different combinations to make everything in the universe again. including the things on the desk from before. Let's make their atoms big enough to see again. Except for one, they're now made from more than one kind of atom, so they aren't elements anymore. But we can turn them back into elements by putting their atoms into separate piles again. Wood's atoms can be put into three element piles, hydrogen, carbon and oxygen, glass into two, and water also into two piles. These new atom piles are also substances that we can see and touch. They're as simple as possible because they can't be separated any further into any more kinds of atoms. That makes them elements again. Copper is the only one of the original substances that is already as simple as it can get. When we pull copper's atoms apart and put them back together again, we make copper again. Copper is already an element because it's made of only one kind of atom. But when people discovered copper thousands of years ago, they didn't know that. They couldn't tell if it was an element just by looking at it, because its atoms were too small to see. When scientists discovered that copper was made of only one kind of atom, they named them copper atoms, not surprisingly. From then on, the word copper could be used for both the substance copper and the atom copper. But water is made of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. So there can't be such a thing as a single water atom because it's made of more than one kind. And glass can't be made of glass atoms. And an elephant from elephant atoms. Only an element can have the same name as the atoms that make it. The word that we give to the tiny scale of atoms that we can't see with our eyes is microscopic. 
the word for the large scale of substances that we can see and touch, is macroscopic. Science is a lot about making connections between the microscopic and macroscopic scales of our world.